Hey everybody, Rich Baranowski from uh, coming at you. Oh, jeez. Well, it looks like that's the end of Jesse Smollett. Um, yeah, I have I haven't done like any talking about this. And I, honestly, I figured the case was just going to be a big nothing. Um, heh, apparently that's not the case. Um, so Jesse Smollett's going to prison. They are going to charge him with some kind of, like, felony misconduct or something like that. I forget how exactly it goes, but yeah, it's not looking good for him. Like, what a fucking asshole, though. Like, what kind of prick pulls a stunt like that? Okay, so, he mailed a hate message to himself. To, like, the set of Empire, where he was, f that he was filming at the time. Um, and his little stunt essentially got him no attention whatsoever. Like, the people on the set of Empire, I guess, I guess he was looking for, like, sympathy or whatever. Didn't work. Did, uh, didn't get him jack or shit. So he decided he's going to escalate. Uh, so he sends a fake hate message to himself again, this time with a... With, like, crushed up aspirin in it so that he can... So that it, he can make it look like some sort of chemical attack on him or some shit. And of course, I had you know he called you know called like the note who called him a black f. Okay, called him himself a black f word or whatever. And then apparently, um, and then and then you know got him a little attention, not quite the attention he wanted, you know, and then. So now we've got, like, what the hell is going on with these liberals? You know, so now he's now he's uh, paying a couple of the extras from Empire to beat, uh, to beat the crap out of him. Put the, put the rope around his neck like some kind of a noose. And dump, like, chemicals on him. You know, dump, like, bleach on him. Like... You know, and, and yeah, he, he's really not. What kind of a fucking prick does he think he's doing? You know, and then they said, like, oh, they screamed, uh, this is mega country, or whatever. It's like, well, first of all, you live in uh, Chicago. You're not even allowed to be a Republican in this, this state of Illinois. Um, You know, you're you're only allowed to vote if you're a Democrat in Chicago. Everyone knows that. So yeah, nice try number one. Second of all, how many uh, people, how many Trump supporters, even watch Empire? I don't even think I, I never even heard of the fucking guy. So yeah, there's another big problem right there. And also, how? So yeah, you're looking for Trump supporters in Chicago who watch Empire who recognize Jesse at like 2 a.m. in sub-zero weather. You know, like, middle of the fucking night. You know, here, okay, I'm just gonna say this to all you black people. I ain't got the time of day to be racist, okay? Get the fuck out of here. Shit. I mean, look at this. It's still dark out. It's fucking 6 o'clock. You think I'm gonna freaking take time? You know, you think I'm gonna be walking around 2 o'clock in the morning with bleach and a noose? Looking for some black people to fuck with? Get out of here. Shit. 2 o'clock in the goddamn morning. Raining sub-zero temperatures. Psh, fuck that shit, man. I'm on- I'm in my bed underneath a fuck ton of blankets. The hell with that shit. Yeah, all us white folks, man, we on the prowl. We're gonna lynch anybody we see. That's right, bitch. Yeah, and this fucking uh, anti-lynching bill that the politicians are trying to pass. Dipshit. That is like the most useless fucking thing anyway. 
That is so goddamn useless. And besides, I wonder if it goes both ways. I wonder if it, this bill is going to make it illegal for black people to torture white people. You know, by doing really fucked up shit to them, like putting your head in a toilet and cutting your hair, cutting your clothes. Yeah. Did y'all forget about that shit? I didn't. January 2017. Yeah, y'all thought we forgot about that shit, didn't you? Nice try, you fucking bitch. All the all these uh, Democrats. Oh, uh, this is a uh, this is a modern day lynching. You know, fucking Kamala Harris, Cory Booker. You know, y'all can kiss my ass. Anti lynching bill. Talk about fucking fear mongering. Wow. Okay, it's already a fucking okay. It's already a fucking crime to assault people. What the hell do we need an anti lynching bill for? That that's fucking useless, man. They said the wall's gonna be useless and ineffective. So these these people are fucking idiots. I'm really I'm just done with these dumbass Democrats, man. These are like the most dumb. Oh God. Like, and this is see what kind of aggravates me about the whole Jesse Smollett thing is that this is not the first one we've ever heard about. Okay, not even in recent years. Okay, like this is coming right off of the heels of Covington, uh, Jasmine Barnes's murder. Um, and then like a year and a half ago, we had like. He, we had that uh, incident at the Air Force Academy. Like, what the hell is wrong with these people? You know, if you don't want to... See, oh, but hate crimes are on the rise. No, they're not. Hate hoaxes are on the rise. Fucking black people fucking out there... Um, you know, perpetrating hate crimes against themselves and blaming all goddamn white people for it. And then freaking CNN has the... And then they say, oh, well, it, this doesn't change anything. The fact that they were black doesn't change anything. It's like, yeah, it does, you fucking dick. You're right. It doesn't change anything. Because white people were never the... Were never freaking... Oh, my God. White people were never out there committing hate crimes, you fucks. And the ones who were were Antifa members victimizing themselves. As usual. Oh, I got jumped because I'm a feminist. It's like, well, first of all, if you're a feminist, you do deserve to get jumped. But we ain't, I ain't going to waste my time touching you. You probably have rabies. All feminists got rabies. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I just pulled up at work. I'm going to talk to you a little bit later. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I am back. And now I am actually leaving work for the day. Oh, boy. What did I just... I think I found my car keys. There we go. Let's it off. Doesn't... Okay. So, yeah, man, even, even on... 101.5 they were talking about uh Jesse Smollett so you know the you know and they're actually wondering are race relations really as bad as like the media plays it up or are they like exaggerating it um <laughs> my thoughts on that i think they're i think it i think they're a little bit exaggerated but not by much hold on I think they are exa I think they are pretty bad, but I don't think they're exaggerated by much. I think mostly it's black people who hate white people a lot more than it is what the other way around. What the fuck is that guy doing? Jerk. Anyway. Anyway. Honestly, I think it's the black people who are mostly to blame for race relations being tense or um, or so bad. No. Because, you know, it's like, how hard, like, how freaking 
devoted do you have to be to your little, to the whole liberal religion or cult? You know, before you just like say, you know what, fuck it, this is stupid. You know, I mean, this is not the first time we have seen black people victimizing themselves and trying to blame white people. You know, or, or, or just black people trying to blame whites for shit they ain't even do. You know, that's fucking ridiculous. You know, it's like, it's like okay, we got Jesse Smollett, we got, um, we got Covington, we got Jasmine Barnes, and then, like, I, fa- like I found an, like, I found an article, it was a, uh, black student of an Air Force Academy in Ohio, or, no, not Ohio Springs, Colorado Springs, um, you know, wrote a bunch of racist messages on the doors of uh, his own dormitory and, like, a couple other black students. And then they tried to say it was, like, you know, it was white people or whatever. It's, like, turned out it was one of the, it was one of the black kids. Apparently he was trying to gain sympathy because he was apparently in some kind of heap of trouble for misconduct, uh, at the academy. You know, not, 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 like, any kind of, like, legal problems, but, like, he was having, like, trouble with, um, you know, he was, like, in trouble from, like, the administrators or something like that. So, yeah, so he tried to earn himself a little bit of sympathy, and then it blew up in his face. He got his ass uh, kicked out of the academy. So, yeah, this is not the first time. It's not, and you know what? This isn't going to be the last time either. You know, it's, it's like these assholes are just getting themselves kicked out of school. They're getting themselves kicked out of, you know, they're getting themselves disciplined. You know, they're getting themselves thrown in jail. And, okay, and now Jesse Smollett is actually going to go to prison. Like, that's the thing. He actually involved the federal government. You know, he involved he involved the police with that uh, racist letter that, like, uh, you know, they called the police because it had, like, the aspirins in. Um, so, yeah, that's actually... Yeah, it turned out to contain, like, acetaminophen, which is, which is an active ingredient in most painkillers. There, there's two, there's two. There's acetaminophen, and then there's uh, the one I usually take is dextromethorphan. Yeah, if I said that right. Because I, I, I think I might actually be allergic to acetaminophen. So, like, not not deathly allergic or anything, but I, but I, like, last time I took, last time I took it, like, I noticed it was like my skin was like discolored. I'm guessing it's from. I'm guessing that w- that I like broke out in hives or whatever. I've never I've never done that before. But like my skin was like discolored and I like itched and it itched like crazy. You know, for like a full like four to six hours, however long the asp- the aspirin was supposed to last. It, it was a day quill. It's what I took and it, like I was just itching the whole time, everywhere, everywhere. Oh god, that was hell. So anytime I get a cold, I need to take a de- dextromethorphan. Assuming I'm saying that right. <laughs> so yeah, he involved the federal government. A lot of people keep forgetting. You know, the police. Their job is to enforce the laws that the government passes. They are technically government agents. Okay? They work for the government. Also, United States Postal Service is a branch of the federal government. Okay? That's why you are able to send a letters and packages from New Jersey to California. You are allowed to do that because the post office is a federal, is a branch of the federal government. So yeah, the guy freaking involved the federal government. I mean, they'd be stupid not to charge him with felony, uh, pin him with some kind of felony charge. Now you don't want to go. You want to go around victimize yourself. Go right on ahead. You know, fucking di- shove a dildo up your ass and say you were raped. Good for you, who? But just remember, you're gonna fucking you're gonna uh, suffer the consequences. Like I'm just I'm just done. I'm just done with these assholes. Well, it's just you know, they're, it's like you're victimizing yourself, and then you complain hate crimes are on the rise. It's like then stop perpetrating them on yourselves. Shit. That's what it is. It's like these people are so dedicated to their little cult over there. Or to the liberal cult. 
that they're that by god damn it they're going to prove that i don't know america's racist and homophobic and and sexist even if they have to force it to make to uh, be true it's like yeah you can't force shit to be true come on you fuckhead i hate this intersection i really do yeah that's it that's it fucky That intersection. I really do. I hate the hell out of that intersection. Always having to make that fucking left, and you got these fuckheads in the SUVs just sitting there, blocking my goddamn view. You know what? These people are dicks. Get out of the fucking street, you fat schmuck. Ew, you ugly. Some fucking lard ass walking down the middle of the street. I don't know if you saw that or not. Ugh. Anyway, guys. So, I'm going to... I think I'm going to wrap it up here for today. For this week. I, th I think I'm going to do these uh, vlogs once every two weeks. It's... Like, first I have to find shit that I actually give a shit about. And then I have to frickin' find something... I don't know, it seems like most of the news stories are happening are like happening over the weekends. Uh, so... You know, it's like that's when people go home and they act like assholes or whatever. Anyway guys, I'll, I'll catch you guys all... I don't know, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, I don't know. I know I, I, know I missed last week, sorry, but... I don't know, I'm, th I'm thinking of just making it a two week. Uh, thing, so. Anyway, guys, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign off now. I'll check, I'll check you all later. Hey everyone, this is Richard Baranowski. I hope you all enjoyed the video you just saw, and if you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to give this video a like and a share, and also please support me on Patreon. I hope to see you all in my next video. Take care.